So this is a pressing question that a lot of men have. Does height actually matter? And this is a question that almost every short guy has thought about. So the short answer is no. If you're wondering if height actually matters when it comes to women, your answer to yourself should be no. Because if a woman is shallow enough to not date you, even if you're a great and amazing guy, then she's not even worth your time. And that's 100% honest. But more so, there's so many things that you can do because you have to keep in mind, no guy is 100% perfect. While some might be tall, they might have 100 other defects. It is our job to make ourselves the best version of ourselves, to take interest in how we look and try to optimize that. And that's why, yeah, height doesn't really matter. Just like everything else that I talk on my channel, there are things that you can do to make yourself look taller, to make yourself look better and also feel better. So for example, yes, you can dress to look taller. Here, it's all about proportions and making sure you get your proportions right. You are short already, so you don't want clothes that's gonna make you look stumpier and shorter. You understanding all these proportions is gonna make you appear taller. Now, the hardest thing for short men that I've always heard is finding clothes that actually fits them off the rack. Most manufacturers produce clothes for guys, for the average guy, which is usually over 5'10 and under like 6'3. That's usually the average range. Even though there's millions of other guys that are under 5'8. So for those guys, you need to find clothing manufacturers that produce for you, such as Peter Manning. All of their clothes are specifically designed for guys under 5'8. Not only are they stylishly designed, but they're proportionately designed. So their inseams are not super long. If you compare them to a regular off the rack pan, you'll notice how they're cut shorter and more tailored to better suit the shorter individual. The pants also have a shorter rise, which, which is gonna make you appear to have longer legs and a longer torso. The shirt sleeves are shorter, so they're not gonna be all long and baggy with a bunch of breaks down your arm. So all these proportional details start to add up and end up equaling a perfectly executed outfit for the short guy. The good thing with Peter Manning is that they offer a wide range of styles, anything from t-shirts to polo shirts to dress shirts to chinos to full suits to jackets. So if you're a short guy and you've never heard of this website before, I'm gonna have it linked below. All their clothes are stylishly and quality made and better, I have a discount code for all you guys. I'm gonna have it linked below as well. You guys can check it out. And I can't guarantee you, if you're a short dude, these items are gonna fit you 100 times better, which is gonna make you look better. The second thing short guys can do is adopt a hairstyle with some volume. I talked about hairstyles before and how you should adopt a hairstyle for your face shape. But if you're a short guy, you can also use that same tip to give yourself some volume and give yourself some height. Hairstyles even like mine, which don't have crazy amounts of volume, still add about an inch to your overall height. So if you're a short guy, that's drastic. If you're 5'9", now you're 5'10". If you're 5'8", now you could be 5'9", or even 5'10", if you have even more hair. The third one is very important, and it's to be comfortable in your own skin. You, be, you have to be confident in your own skin. Like I said in the beginning, nobody is 100% perfect and everybody has shortfalls, everybody has insecurities or things that they don't like about themselves. If yours, it's just height, you need to be comfortable with it and be confident in your own skin. There's nothing worse than somebody who isn't confident in himself because guess what? You're gonna project that every single day and honestly, that makes you look way less unattractive. If you can be confident, nobody's gonna even care. Which leads me to number four, and this is very important. You need to develop presence. If you're that guy that you're not confident who you are, you need to develop your confidence and then develop presence. Because it's not about how tall you are, but it's how tall people think you are. Let me explain. There are certain people that no matter how tall they are, they can just fill up a room. As soon as they enter a room, they automatically grab people's attention. Their presence is set. They can command attention with ease and leave a memorable impression on anybody that they meet. So you have to keep in mind that attraction is not only physical. If you can establish your presence, you will instantly become magnetic and after that, who cares about height? The fifth thing that you can do though when it comes to physical appearance is avoid big accessories. So things like big backpacks, big chunky watches, big chunky shoes. Anything that's overpowering or that's gonna overpower your look is going to make you look smaller. And these are things you want to avoid. Again, like I referenced in my style tip, it's all about proportions 
and the same goes on when it comes to accessories and when it comes to uh, jewelry or watches wear minimal, slim, and smaller watches that better suit your frame. This is gonna fit you more proportionately and make you look bigger instead of overpowering your look and making you look smaller. So to end it off, the big question, does height actually matter? So I'm not gonna lie to you and I've talked about this before, yes, women do notice a guy's height and would like taller men. But in reality, to you, it shouldn't matter. Because like I said in the beginning, if a woman is shallow enough to care about your height or not date you because of your height, even though you're an amazing guy, she's not worth your time. So to answer the question, no. To you, it shouldn't matter. To some shallow women, it might.